Now, often when websites and magazines test action cameras and tough cameras, you know, they might check the waterproofing a little bit, throw it in a sink, see if it survives uh, a quick bath, or they may chuck it in the mud and see if it survives that. But that's not really the most exciting way of testing action cameras. So today we've got the TG track here and uh, Olympus's TG5 and we're, we're going to test these in a bit more of a fun environment. So we're here today at Aquapark Rutland, which is the UK's largest inflatable assault course on a reservoir. It's, it's a pretty amazing place. You can probably see it behind us. And we're going to really go and put these things yeah. through the paces. Give so Paul, you've got the tracker. Yep. I've got the TG5. Do you know what you let yourself in for? Well, we've got wetsuits, yeah? We've, we've got it's wetsuits. Be, it's not Hopefully. a very warm day, but uh, it's not a very warm should be day. fun anyway. Let's go see what these cameras can do, yeah? Yeah, let's, let's do go it. get wetsuited and booted. Now both of these cameras are built to take a battering and this includes most importantly for today's test being waterproof. The TG5 can cope with depths of 15 meters without any additional underwater housing while the tracker can handle depths of up to 30 meters. Both cameras are freeze proof to minus 10 celsius, shock proof to 2.1 meters and can withstand being crushed by up to 100 kilogram force. In other words pretty much wherever you can safely go these cameras will document your adventures with ease. A 1 over 2 3 sensor is at the centre of both of the devices, but they carry very different resolutions and purposes. The tracker, a camera designed for video rather than stills use, captures 7 megapixel files, while the predominantly stills focused TG5 records 12 megapixel files. These relatively low resolutions aren't suited for billboard size image printing, but they do mean reasonably high ISO performance is achieved by both of their small sensors, something that can be vitally important for underwater and high shutter speed shots. Both devices shoot JPEG, while the TG5 can also be set to capture RAW. The tracker's fixed lens has a 13.9mm full-frame equivalent focal length, which provides a super-wide 204-degree angle of view, perfect for those classic action cam-looking shots, and it's got an aperture of f2. The TG5, however, has a 25-100mm full-frame equivalent optical zoom lens, with a variable f2 to f4.9 aperture, suitable for image-taking of most day-to-day -day subjects. 4K recording is possible with both of these cameras at 30 frames per second, while when set to full 1080p HD recording, the TG5 will film up to 120 frames per second and the tracker 60 frames per second. Both cameras can also shoot 720p at 240 frames per second. This gives their users lots of scope to record high-speed action and play it back at up to 10 times slow motion. Stills and video shooting isn't the only things these cameras can do though. They're also fully equipped with field sensors so you can monitor and record environmental information for every part of your adventure. Both include GPS for location tracking, an electronic compass, a manometer for pressure readings and a thermometer. And the tracker also touts an accelerometer and barometer as well. For anyone who doubts the extremeness of your activities, this proves exactly where you were and in what conditions. The tracker can even be set to a log mode that leaves the camera turned off but keeps recording all that environmental data in the background. Now these two cameras have very different handling. The TG5 operates like a traditional compact with a zoom rocker, mode dial, multi selector pad etc. While the tracker has a physically larger but a much more limited set of controls on its top. These provide less intuitive setting control but make use while underwater or wearing gloves much easier. Now if you're looking to take total control of your images and videos, then the TG5 will be the best choice. If you want minimal fuss mid-activity, then the tracker's the way to go. Both of these cameras have Wi-Fi for remote connection, file transfer and control from a smartphone. Each model has some other standout features. The tracker has a 90 minute battery life, an inbuilt and independently controllable torch that can be used to find your way in the dark, or to provide additional lighting for your images or videos when needed, and is bundled with an adjustable steady grip. The TG5 has double pane glass on the front lens to stop condensation forming when moving between extremes of temperature, such as a cabin into the snow. And lots of advanced stills shooting modes as found on their bigger cameras like live composite for star trails and fireworks and a variable macro system. A range of other accessories including cases and lens adapters are available for both devices. With a standard quarter inch thread, they can be used with all sorts of third party tripods, harnesses, action camera mounts and so on. Well, I think it's safe to say that these cameras are, are definitely waterproof. Yeah, it's just a, a bit, bit of a battering because some of those jumps are pretty damn high. More of a battering than me. Yeah. I mean, they handle very differently, don't they? Yeah, I mean, this is predominantly a stills camera. You know, that's, that's predominantly a, a video camera. Uh, yeah, if you're going to do the video stuff, so much more options, so many more options, more frame rates, um, more resolutions. It'll do 4K if you need it to. Do hop the slow mo stuff, which hopefully we've got some great footage of. Yeah. We'll find out when we get home. I think that's the thing about these devices, you know. 
it's no great secret that the, the, kind of the market for compact cameras is kind of declining a little bit. But one area where they are still fantastic is devices like this. Because unless you've got thousands of pounds or at least hundreds of pounds spend on expensive waterproof housing, you know, you just can't take your CSC or DSLR no. into this kind of thing. But for it's a few not hundred pounds, shops. you've got a device if you're on a family holiday or you're taking part in activities like this, you can get some really good footage yeah. and some really good stills that you just wouldn't be able to get otherwise. It means you can just get up and enjoy yourself. Yeah. So for more information about the Olympus TG Tracker and TG5, visit wex.co.uk.